Assalamualaikum and good morning everybody Ok, let's start to this lesson Ok, addition and subtraction of vectors Ok, let's see vectors as combination of other vectors <coughs> Ok, uh, addition means Ok, you combine with positive vector Ok, and Subtraction means okay, you combine uh, with negative vector. Okay, so we have two types of vector. Okay, one is parallel, and another one is non-parallel vector. Okay, so let's start with parallel vector. Okay, parallel vector. Okay. Okay, so let's say, uh, so we, you, we have learned, right, we use a directed line segment to represent vector. For example, okay, let's start with parallel vector. For example, um, let's say you have vector A. 1, 2. So this is vector A. And then uh, one more vector, let's say you have vector B. Okay, 1, 2, 3. So, this is vector B. Okay, the length of the vector A is uh, 1, 2. And vector B is 1, 2, 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so, <coughs> when we combine vector A and vector B, when we combine vector A and vector B, okay, so, plus here means you combined. Okay, you combine. Okay, Add. so this is addition of vector A and vector B. Okay, so when you combine vector A and vector B means, alright. Okay, vector A is 1, 2. So, 1, 2. So, this is vector A. Okay, then you combine with vector B. Okay, let's say I'm using purple color for vector B. Okay, green color vector A. So, when, this one, okay, this now, okay, this is vector A. Okay, vector A. 1, 2. So, 1, 2. Okay, so this is vector A. When you combine with vector B means, okay, this is the head of the vector A. So, you, uh, to combine vector B, you start from here and then vector B is 1, 2, 3. The length of the vector B is 3. Uh, three units one two three so the <coughs> now okay after you combine we have a single vector known as vector c we have a single vector known as vector c okay we have a single line known as a vector c so actually the single line is the resultant vector of the vector A and vector B. So, the single line, this line, is known as a uh, resultant vector of the vector A and vector B. So, you can write vector C is actually addition of vector B and uh, vector A and vector B. So, when you combine vector A and vector B, okay, you get, you get vector C. And the vector C is actually the resultant vector of vector A and vector B. So, this one you combine positive vector. Right? Next, let's say you, uh, we have... Okay. Okay, let's... Uh, let's see the next example.